Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to this channel. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. So um, today I want us to talk about love and emotional dependence. So um, I know each and every one of us have their own way of loving, have their own definitions of love, and have their own way of uh, showing love and how they want to be loved. So uh, in this video, my main focus is that I want you to differentiate between whether you are in love or the arrangement you are in you are in is an emotional dependence kind of arrangement so falling in love can come from two different states when you fall in love from the wounded self that is the, uh, the ego self it is not so much the person you love but how he or she loves you you are handling uh, or handing over to the other person the responsibility for your self-worth, that is one, and well-being. And if he or she does a good job of attending to the way you want uh, to be attended to, then you may say you are, in, you are in love. So how do you then tell when this is no longer love and it is uh, what I said before, that is emotional dependence. So let us first understand what emotional dependence is. And uh, this is when a person believes they need another person, one, to survive, two, to be happy, and three, to feel complete. Love is easily confused with emotional dependency because they both usually come with intense feelings around another person, but in an emotional uh, dependent relationship, people feel they are in love when really they are in need. So there is love and then there is need. When you're in love, you are in love. When you're in an emotional dependency kind of stuff, then you are, you are in need. Emotionally dependent people need constant at attention. They need constant approval and also they need constant support from their partner because they are not giving uh, to themselves those, kind, uh, those three things that I've mentioned. And how do you know that now this what I'm in is not love but emotional dependency? I'll ask you these questions. Number one, have you discovered from past relationships that uh, you have a tendency to idealize people? That is question one. Number two, do you project onto your partner how you want them to be rather than how they are? That is question two. Question three, are you making up the person you think you are in love with? That is the third question. Fourth, are you primarily focused on how your partner treats you rather than on who they really are inside? Number five, are you overly impressed by how this person makes you feel special? Number six, have you made your partner responsible for your happiness, worth, and safety? Number seven, do you feel anxious or panicked when you are not with your partner or when they, do, when they don't text you when you expected? Uh, number eight, uh -huh, number eight, do you have a set of expectations that your partner has to meet uh, for you to feel loved and safe? Number nine, do you feel that you can't live without this person? Number 10, are you terrified of losing this person? Number 11, do you feel empty and alone inside unless your partner uh, is giving you attention and validation? Number 12, do you feel jealous and possessive of your partner? So among all the questions that I've uh, laid out, how many or which ones uh, do you always feel like you, uh, you do? Or which ones of them do you present with in the kind of relationship that you are in as a man or as a, as a woman? or as a gentleman or as a, as a lady. So love versus emotional dependency. 
love that comes from fear isn't love that is one it is called neediness emotional dependency comes from the inner emptiness that a person experiences that is created when you abandon yourself and you then expect your partner to feel your emptiness and make you feel loved and safe once you make your partner responsible for your happiness safety and worth then you need to try to have control over getting him or her to love you the way you want to be loved another thing to remember love is about giving and sharing not about getting love is not needy there is nothing controlling about real love love is that which supports your own and your partner's highest good which means that um you will never try to control or possess the other person when you love someone yeah, you deeply value their essential qualities the qualities that don't go away with time the challenge of real love is that you cannot desire to get love and to be loving at the same time your focus on getting love will always lead to a closed heart and controlling behavior when you love someone uh you deeply value the essential qualities the qualities that don't go away with time as i've said before and um your focus on being loving and on learn, uh, on learning uh what is loving to yourself and your partner in any given moment is what opens the heart when you consistently choose to be loving with yourself and others you will experience real love so um it's not a needy kind of thing when you find yourself uh wanting to always feel that you can't leave this person uh you can't live without this person or uh, you are terrified of losing this person that is a uh, kind of being needy and what you have is really not love but emotional dependency so how do you stop being um emotionally dependent so there are so many ways that you can uh learn to be in love and not being in emotional dependency kind of thing by but the greatest uh the greatest way is not to look for magic or something it is learning to love yourself and feel whole with or without other people in your life so if you do not love yourself your own beautiful wonderful essence that uh is in you then you cannot see or love the essence of another so when you don't see and value yourself you become emotionally dependent in your desire to get love when you love yourself you will be far less vulnerable to becoming emotionally dependent on a partner because you won't have a desperate need for attention and approval when you give yourself the attention um, and approval you need you'll be able to have healthy relationships with others without depending on them uh, for your sense of well-being so uh, i want to pose a question to you are you in love or are you in emotional dependence remember i asked a uh, very pertinent questions when i was starting and you should check what i laid out in those questions and this can be able to help you gauge whether you are in love or as a person you need more self loving so that you can be able to appreciate the essence of the essence in other people that you don't uh see in yourself so uh, i hope this information helps you i hope uh as you embark in that journey of finding love you'll be able to to differentiate or discern what you really want or what you have and be able to ascertain that you are in love or it is just a a journey to find somebody that you can be 
emotionally dependent on. So um, if this, if you like this uh, video, please share uh, with your friends and anyone else. And please consider subscribing to this channel. Thank you for watching and bye bye.